So this past weekend, I did a lot of really crazy cool stuff out and about in London, and I filmed a lot of it, so this video was originally just going to be a little vlog showing you bits and pieces of my life. But then I realized the first thing I did, which was go to an Andrew McMahon concert on Wednesday, I never filmed anything, and that got me thinking, why is it that I didn't film anything at the concert at all so I could use it in this video? And that's when I realized, I've got a story for you just trapped up there in the subconscious about my first ever concert. It was a fun time. I think it was like four years ago. Okay, Evan just got a new iPhone. He used to listen to this radio station, Radio 1045. It's the first Twitter account I ever followed. Pretty nice music station. Be the 104th to text our number and you'll win two tickets to the killers. Copy pasta. Guess who won the tickets? This guy. So I texted my girlfriend at the time and I was like, yo, I won tickets to the killers. You want to come? And she was like, woo, tells all her friends. And the girl that was sitting next to me that was also trying to win was like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to win. If you let me go, I'll drive you and pay for parking. So I texted my girlfriend back and said, hey, uh, change of plans, you're not going anymore. <laughs> so, I guess that's why I'm st uh, single. Uh, <laughs> I guess she had to tell everyone after telling her, when I'm going to the killers, I'm not going to the killers. However, I had a good time. Uh, I went to the killers uh, the day the concert came around. I got there really early, actually, and we got to the pit. Okay, we're not in this giant stadium where I can sit in the back behind a bar. Oh no, I'm standing in the pit, but no one was there. We were the first ones there. So so I just, you know, walk around a bit. Me and my friend were looking for our other friend who happened to work at the venue. We talked to her for a bit. Then people start filling in. So I go and I stand in the pit, okay? Now, I'm not in the front row at this point because I took my little lollygagging time. I'm now in the fourth row just standing there. Now, something you need to know about me is that I said something instead of something. Either way, I am six foot four. I would regard myself as the tall end of being an average height. However, some people may disagree. Well, granted, no matter where I am, I can pretty much see the concert. It's a good concert no matter what. However, I was in the fourth row, so I was perfect. I could see everything. Uh, but the, the music starts to play. There's an opener. There's, you know, the other guy. And I'm wearing... I'm wearing this flannel right here. This exact flannel because I love plaid, okay? Plaid is, is boss. I went through a plaid phase. So I'm wearing this flannel. I'm enjoying the music. And uh, granted, I'm holding this brick of a camera. Imagine an old-fashioned Game Boy, like the original, battery-powered, okay? And I'm holding this thing up because I want to record all these songs, man. want to get internet famous on the YouTubes. At this point, I only had to upload like two videos, which you'll never see on the internet, on YouTube. So I'm just holding it up, wanted to record some songs, upload them to the internet. Now, of course, the people behind me, not they had to deal with not only the fact that I was 6'4", but the fact that the 6'4 guy in front of them was holding his hands up and holding this giant brick of a camera up there. I look like a crap. Well, they didn't like that too much. So, after about mm, two, three songs of me, like, listening and recording, I started to get a little heckling. Now, I didn't know it was me necessarily, except for the fact that they were like, Yo! Paul Bunyan! I didn't have this beard at the time. However, I was wearing a plaid shirt, and I tried to, you know, just... Ignore it. The guy next to me was like, yo, just, just ignore him, man. I was like, okay, okay. Just, just enjoying the show. And then, get a tap on the shoulder. Turn around. This little short Mexican guy just standing behind me. He's like, yo, man. Why are you so tall? Yes, sorry, man. I just came out of my mom's uterus like this. Like, ah! Ripped her apart. Because he's really tall. He's like, yo, man. I'm just messing with you, man. No. Of course, there's a certain smell going around this concert at this point in time. You know that certain smell. It smells like chicken poop. I don't like it. Uh, so it might not have just been that this guy was drunk. He may have been under some other influences. He didn't obviously follow the D.A.R.E. program like I did in fifth grade. So the other guy next to me, he's like, yo, man, why don't you F him up, man? You beat his ass. And I was like, no, no. Way. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, I am not. I turn around. Just trying to enjoy the concert. And this, of course, made me mortified. I was like, I'm going to walk out of here with a black eye, and at least I have my camera to prove to everyone I got beat up. Okay, I didn't walk into a pole or anything. I'm going to get beat up. So I was just standing there like, yeah, this is it. And I still hear them heckle me. Paul Bunyan! I am terrified. Okay, the concert is still going okay, though. I mean, I'm holding my camera up. I'm getting all this footage. I'm going to be YouTube famous. 
And then the encore happens. You know, we all cheer them, come back, we love you. And then they come out and they play the song that I've been waiting for. All these things that I've done, okay? That is the song. I'm like, woo! Woo! Whoa, whoa. All of a sudden, somebody just snatches my camera, my break of a Game Boy of a battery operated camera, out of my hands. They turn around, what? Excuse me, what do you do? Just a man with a staff shirt, and he looks up at me like this. And he looks back down and he starts to just go through my camera like, what are you going to do? What are you doing to it? I can do whatever you want, man. I'm so sorry. And he just looks at me. And then he looks back and didn't say a word. And meanwhile, in the background, that short Mexican guy is still like, yeah, yeah, get him, get Paul Bunyan, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> everybody behind is literally cheering. I am the enemy, okay? Paul Bunyan is not a hero in the story. And he's just going through and deleting them. And then just shoves the camera back. Gives me a look, and then he walks out through the crowd. At this point, I am shattered. I still have little Mexican man shouting at me in the back. And I'm just standing there, my friend's like, what was that about? What do you think it was about? Just about He deleted all my videos. Every one. He left the really awkward selfies, though, so that's good. Can't wait to upload those on the MySpace. <sighs> so the concert ends, and I didn't get a black eye. I just walked out and I was like, this is the first and worst concert I've ever been to. And I've never worn a flannel to another concert. And I've never recorded any other footage from any other concert because I am just, I don't want to follow me, man. Just, I'm t terrified of that man. Anyway, that is my story about my first and worst concert. I am Paul Bunyan. That's me. I got the beard for it, you know. Uh, but I'll update you on the rest of my original plan for this vlog sometime next week. Thanks for enjoying the story. Uh, have you guys ever been to concerts? I hope so. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.